Today I have with me Brittany and Arnim Montessor to, um, Brittany has a YouTube series herself called Faith in Feelings that I love to watch and I'll, I'm going to plug that in the description and Arnim, you are um, a reverend, right? Yes. 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 How do you guys know that God loves diversity? Okay. Well, um, God loves, you know, diversity because he that's his disciples. They're um, they're from the same area, but different professions. Um, he doesn't look at your history, but he looks at what he's given on to you. Um, if you look at, you know, he had, he he has um, Peter, you know, and Andrew. They're they are fishermen, but yet he looked within them and he looked at the personalities. Peter is a kind of a little hard headed. Andrew's kind of like. He goes with the flow. Um, you look at um, Matthew, he was a tax collector. In those times, tax collectors were frowned upon because they worked for the Roman government. So, but although the community, you know, chastised him because of his profession, God loved him because he see past all of that. That's so true. There were different like economic statuses too, right? We mm -hmm. have like a fisherman, tax collector. Yeah. Exactly. And <laughs> it's interesting too, because, you know, God, you know, he, just because you could be, um, you could be, you could be great with numbers, but that doesn't necessarily mean that God called you to hold, you know, to hold, to be in charge of the money. You know, I mean, um, Philip, you know, Matthew um, could have um, been in charge of the money, but yet he asked Philip questions. And no, and, and when we look at the scriptures, Judas was the one that, that hold actual the finances. It's interesting, you know, so God gave everyone a chance to grow in other areas too. Um, the, the thing that I love about it is uh, he has no respect of persons. He loves everybody, men, women, even children. I mean, look at the, 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 the young boy who had that lunch, two fishes and five loaves. <laughs> and yet Jesus turned it into a whole seafood buffet and everyone ate. That's so true. It came from a little a, kid. One right. boy. Only for a little kid. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, we focus, we a lot of times I think we focus so much on the blessings, but we don't really focus on the source of it and who God is using to, uh, the, or the vehicle he's using to bring that to happen. So no one really talks about the boy. It's true. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what a boy and his family. You know, and so they were more blessed because the Bible says at the end, you know, he had leftovers. So he was able to be, able to, that boy was able to be a blessing to his family. Wow. You know? Yeah. Good so point. He loves, <laughs> <laughs> he loves, God loves everybody. He has no respect of persons and he's intentional and relational to everyone that he meets. He wants us to be children because children are receptive. You know, they are, you know, their anger. You know, and that's why Jesus, um, when he picked up the child, you know, he says, except you be as a child, you know, you can't enter into the kingdom of God. So God Amen. loves everybody and he deals with everyone personally in relation. 